Hello, I'm Chris Williams from Read Comics. They're bad for you, the name of my YouTube channel. Or if you're watching this on Library, when I finally have it up and running, thank you for subscribing. If you're watching this on BitChute, please subscribe to my BitChute channel, Comic Freak. Today we're going to be talking about a couple of Star Wars stories that deal with feminism. First off, we're going to look at this. Don't call Leia a princess. Yeah. SJWs have a problem with Princess Leia being called a princess anymore because they don't want any woman to be feminine at all. So let's get into this article and see what's up. SJWs like to weave their own personal political gripes into the stories that they tell. As such, a term like princess is now viewed almost as a cursed word. I know he didn't have that written down, but I decided to say that anyway. So unsurprisingly, that's what can be found in the novelization of The Force Awakens. The general has been after this a long time, Poe said, as a way of beginning to take his leave. Tika smiled at some secret thought, General, to me. She's royalty. Yeah, but don't call her princess, Poe told him. Not to her face. She doesn't like it anymore. Really doesn't like it. And you can see the SJWs want to turn, well, even though Curry Fisher is dead, they want to use her as a bullhorn to spew their agenda politics out at us again. Bad enough that I think Disney contributed to her death, but they need to use her as a way to keep talking down to us and to make themselves look better. Because they are a bunch of SJW lunatics who don't know anything else. So once again, they're going to necromancy Carrie Fisher out of her grave just so she can talk down to white men and call us misogynists and racists. Disney, can't you think of anything else to do? Let the woman lie and just let Princess Leia be Princess Leia for God's sakes. But because Disney now owns this franchise and for some odd reason, even though they're a huge corporation, they somehow believe in communism, which makes no sense at all. So they need to spew this out at us for some odd reason. Again, I have to ask, they're a corporation. They're basically the complete opposite of communism. I don't understand why they need to do this. Who takes umbrage at being called a princess? Hardcore feminist, that's who. So, now the character of Princess Leia has to be offended by it too, since Leia is being transformed to represent the shrieking harridans now in the audience. How much of that is author Alan Dean Foster and how much of it is the Lucasfilm story group is anyone's guess? Of course feminists take umbrage at anyone being called a princess because a princess is a beautiful woman. A picturesque view of what humanity in the female form is like. So, of course, feminists being being fat, unattractive land wills will take umbrage with that because it's the exact opposite of what they are, and they hate feminine beauty because they think it's weak. But that's wrong. Real women are feminine, and they can be incredibly strong. If you want examples, let's take fictional and real examples. Eleanor Roosevelt. Princess Leia herself. Jean Grey from the X-Men, and a whole host of other strong women have been feminine and incredibly strong in the world, both in the fictional world as well as in the real world. But feminists don't care about that. They won't even mention strong women in the real world because it hurts their argument that all women are weak and need to be protected. They need to be led by the hand, and that is absolutely wrong. Here's the other article we're going to be looking at. Kathleen Kennedy says Virginia will absolutely direct Star Wars. Yeah, apparently they're going to have this director, who's a female, direct a Star Wars movie because that's the best way to get work in Hollywood. But no word yet on if we'll absolutely get a good Star Wars story, only the promised genitalia of directors has been confirmed. Star Wars boss says a future movie will absolutely be helmed by female director. Kathleen Kennedy spoke about hiring women filmmakers on the BAFTA Film Awards red carpet. It's looking more and more likely that in a future Star Wars movie, we'll see a woman in the director's chair for the first time in the franchise's 43-year history. But will it actually be a good director? I mean, that's what we need, is a good director to helm these movies in the future, because... Because Star Wars movies have been basically becoming less and less profitable going forward. That's because Disney has insisted on completely destroying any character development and, well, anything that would actually be watchable in the movie that people would want to see. Because The Rise of Skywalker is basically just the complete opposite of a Star Wars movie that anyone wanted. 
Palpatine was basically Ray's grandfather. Let's see, Finn and Poe were just basically nobodies in that movie, and Kylo Ren was in love with Ray as well, because we need to please the Raylo shippers. Going forward, if a female director continues in that kind of vein, then the Star Wars brand will be done for good. Star Wars needs to be Star Wars. It needs to be that classic feeling of adventures in space. But no, Disney owns it, so we have to say goodbye to that. Kennedy, who was receiving this year's BAFTA Fellowship Award, did not specify a particular film, but said that a female director would absolutely be hired. We've got two or three fantastic women working with Star Wars. We're cultivating a lot of great talent, she said. And I think you're lying. I absolutely think you're lying, Kathleen Kennedy, because I think you have no idea what you're doing. And we end this article with a little rant from the writer. Walking on the moon is history. Fighting the desert fox in North of Africa is history. Curing cancer is history. Inventing the light bulb is history. Making the first transatlantic flight is history. Playing pretend in front of a camera is not history. And yes, that is quite true. Just having a woman direct a Star Wars movie is not that big a deal. But having her direct a good Star Wars movie, that might be tougher than what she can handle because lately all of them have been bombing because none of the people that Disney has been getting to direct these movies have been any good. Namely, J.J. Abrams and Ryan Johnson who've completely destroyed Star Wars and its entire franchise. But no, it's so important to have a woman direct a Star Wars movie. It's absolutely important to everything because these people are basically children and they make small things into basically mountains because they have no other way to really live their lives because they're that stupid. No, Kathleen Kennedy, it is not absolutely important that a female director direct a Star Wars movie. It's absolutely important that a good director direct a Star Wars movie because then they'll be competent and give us something good to watch. Otherwise, we'll end up with more Star Wars movies made by Disney like the ones we've just had made over the last few years. And that's something no one wants to see. And those movies will rot in their own little dungeon in the pits of, well, Disney's basement. <laughs> But otherwise, no one wants to see any more Star Wars movies made like that. No, people want real Star Wars movies, not the Disney Star Wars movies. Real science fiction, real sci-fi, they have that kind of thing that grips your heart and sends you off to a world you always wanted to live in. The Disney Star Wars movies, they just make you watch a roller coaster ride that has no real stakes or any real drama because they're just popcorn rides that you just eat your food on while you're watching it. Because that's what they are. They're not real cinema. Just like the MCU, they're just something you go to and watch. You might enjoy them, but you can't really say they're good movies or movies at all. But then you, Disney, you come along, you inject these agenda politics into these films because you think you can control people. Well, you can't. No matter what you do, you cannot control human spirit. Especially with you letting your own employees, like Kathleen Kennedy and... Uh, Others who work under her basically called the fans misogynists and racists when they disagree with them, when they hate to see that their beloved franchises become a drag of what it once was. So when you learn the fact that you won't be able to make money like that, we'll come and buy your stuff then. But until then, we will continue to yell and scream and criticize what you're giving us because it is just bad pieces of agenda-driven garbage, and we will not have it. So go ahead, keep making mistakes, hire women directors. Probably they won't be able to direct any better than what the men are doing because if you have someone like Kathleen Kennedy breathing down their necks, they'll be too scared to do anything. But if they do keep up with this SJW pandering and future Star Wars movies, then in the future, the Disney movie franchises will all fail because it is an absolute given that no one will want to go see your movies. And I'm not really willing to go out and say that you should stop what you're doing. You will only learn once you've completely failed and that your own movies are no longer basically making any profit. So, continue with what you're doing, Disney. I'm sure you will continue to fail in the future. If you like this video, subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed because YouTube is going around unsubscribing people, so make sure you're still subscribed. If you're watching my videos but you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Read comics, they're bad for you. Then go over to BitChute and subscribe to my BitChute channel, Comic Freak. Hit that bell for notifications, hit that like button, and leave some comments down below. Also, could you please do me a favor and share this video? Share it on Twitter, share it on Reddit, and share it on Facebook. Share it anywhere you think it'll do the most good because I really 
really want people to see my video, so please share this video. Now, keep checking back in all my future videos for more information on my own upcoming independent comic book, Scum Dogs. I'm Chris Williams, and I'll be back again tomorrow with another video or review.